with 1700 people after looking at my last video I think it's important that we keep going with these videos um, it is very sad to think that the amount of people that have contacted me that uh, are in trouble with family inheritance and with problems taking over farms unfortunately mine is probably one of the worst cases that you can come across where there has been so much greed so much jealousy and so much bitterness but to add to all that to think that there was such a horrible solicitor's firm that took money from my mother which I have a receipt for to make a will and to think that that firm actually hid the will and didn't display the will uh, until they were really forced to do so I think it's very very sad but I am glad for one reason and uh, now I've discovered there's a lot of the family organizations have come behind me and who are coming behind me and in particular the young family organizations this would not have been the case only for I taking the stand and I must thank social media for helping me in such a long way because at least we can say freely what we want to say and we can do and I get great courage when I see young people coming to me worried about where I was 30 years ago I had full confidence I loved farming I loved the farming life and I loved being around farming and that's what hurt me most of all, that I cannot walk out on the land that I was promised, I can almost say, 50 years ago. And that I know it was mine, and that was mine, until jealousy and greed kicked in from my two brothers. But I have no doubt, but I will get my land back. I have no doubt, but will all reverse. When we discover, or which we have discovered, but when we will be able to prove to the seed that that so-called solicitor's firm have created for me in my life uh, going forward anybody with any problem I would love to hear of them and in particularly the man from Ardmore that actually contacted me uh, last Friday evening unfortunately for some reason I lost your phone number and if you can contact me again I would really appreciate it could you give me great information on Egghead and with the amount of information now that I have on Egghead, which is, by the way, the solicitor, or so-called solicitor, or you wouldn't even call him a solicitor because he's not fit to be a solicitor, but this man from Ardmore had great information for me. And if you can contact me again, please, because your information is vital going forward. Because I want to add that to the further information that I have. And we will definitely... And with the power of all ye people out there, we will show Egghead that he might have got away until now, but the trap is closing, and it is very near an end for him. So I, I make that appeal again. The man from Ardmore, I don't want to mention your name. I, I know your name, but I don't want to mention your name. But if you can't make contact with me again, but if you can't, I will find you anyhow. Now, going forward, I'm asking every young person in the agricultural scene be very, very careful of the solicitors and the advice that you take. Because I was half healthy, I was happy-go-lucky, and I never realised, I never thought, that there was so much deceit in the professional people. Sadly, not all. I would say very few. And sadly, there's only the one that I really know that have deceited so many, and that is Egghead. But Egghead's race is rain. And as I say, any of the young people out there, please contact me and I will help you. And in particular, it is very sad to think that in the greater North Cork area, that we have this, this scandalous firm doing this to the people. And for the men that he evicted down the road, not far from me, I am sure we will get us all back together and we will get this sorted. So please, anybody out there with information on Egghead or his deceitful dealings, Please contact me because we need all the information and this will work and we will we will bring him to justice. Right, thank you now very much.